a 3-2 win against Stockport County a day, another 3-2, another stunning performance. Yeah, it was a really battling performance as well, but uh, the quality of the goals for me was a pleasing thing. And to be fair, we could have probably had a, a couple of more with a little bit more composure, but they were a good side. I think everyone would say that, and I would have took the draw before the game, but to get all three, I'm delighted with the lads tonight. They're absolutely outstanding. And a change of uh, tactics from from Saturday. You've got a pick and choose because obviously Stockport County on a 12 game unbeaten run coming into this game, and you, you matched them well with a, a change of formation. Yeah, well, I had to. I did initially want to start with the 3-5-2, but Louis Lang pulled up in the warm up. He's he's not very well, so I had to change it last minute. So you've got to give credit to the lads for that. I knew Stockport were really strong in midfield and the way they play. So I thought we had to match that up in there rather than be as open, like I said, as we were against Curzon on Saturday. I thought we had to nullify their threat and I thought we'd done that. And yeah, you, you said it was a, a bit more defensive setup, but you're still going forward, they were still creating loads of chances. I've said to our lads, it doesn't matter what I set up up there, our best form of defence is attack. That, it is, that, that, unfortunately that's because of what we've got, even our fullbacks are attack minded. So we've got to play to our strengths. I can't just keep saying, hey, let's sit back and defend. Even though I set up as a 4-2-3-1, it's basically, we've got to keep getting that teams, otherwise we'll just we end up dropping far too deep and inviting the pressure. And goals from midfield as well. Two centre midfielders getting it in and around the box. Obviously, Sean Reid's a, a stunning straight in the top right-hand corner, but it was a deft finish from Conor Oliver as well. No, it was a different class. And to be honest with you, whoever got that next goal was going to, it was a big change for us. It, to get that one straight after half time killed the momentum as such because obviously they pulled a the goal back. We knew they would have a goal with, but the lads were outstanding. That goal really killed the game. And I'm getting absolutely drenched now. So, <laughs> but it, it was a great team performance tonight. That. And one last question just obviously, Stockport have a huge place in your heart, and you have a high, large place in the supporters. Uh, is it just good to get a win over, over Stockport? It's, a, it's, it's great. It's, I know where Stockport should be. I think everyone knows where Stockport should be. And I hope they do get back there. I love the club. The fans are different class. And it's a shame they're not here on a sad day. I think there would have been an awful lot more there. But I've said to them there, I wish them well in their FA Cup. I think I've just said you're there. That's something that's a distraction. We had it. And now you look at this. This week probably caught them at the right time, to be honest, when you haven't travelled to us on a Tuesday night when they've got Chorley on Saturday and then Bristol Rovers in the FA Cup. It does. I think the players then start thinking of them games rather than this one, and I think we've caught them at the right time tonight. Cheers,